Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Ivy's room. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am filming this from, I don't even know. I don't even know if it's the midway point. Maybe it's about like the three quarters way point. Kind of like before we start adding in any like gender specific decorations. I am so excited about today's nursery makeover. This has been long overdue. For a little bit of context, this room started out as a very dark green. Like it's that, what's it called? Color soaking, color blocking, color drenching, something like that. <laughs> There's something like that that's really popular now. Anyway, we did it when we first moved into this house and literally the minute that it was done, I knew it was wrong, but Josh does not like doing anything more than once. And so we kept it until I finally convinced him to help me with this project this time. So before we get started today, I do want to put a poll below to see what you guys think that we are going to have because we are going to be announcing it today. And if you watch the announcement, don't ruin it for everybody in the comments but i would love it if you'd want to give your guests below and i will reveal to you guys maybe about midway through the video what we are going to be having so let's go ahead let's not waste any more time and let's get started on this makeover all right everybody well here is how we are starting out with Ivy's bedroom, AKA the future nursery for the baby. I know I've told you guys a little bit about this in past videos, but I'm filming this kind of ahead of time because I know that there's gonna be lots of changes made in this room. And I thought I would get some good footage for y'all of just what this bedroom looks like initially. So I know that the plan is to get some new pink and white bedding for Ivy because she loves pink so much. I'm also planning on painting this bookshelf. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do for the walls yet. I was thinking about doing wallpaper, but I am struggling to find some that we can afford. So anyway, I think that we just may wind up painting in here. So I know that I told you guys that I got this Karistan rug for this room and it's been in here for probably at least six months. And this rug was like incredible quality. I love the brand. However, it was just a little bit too loud in this room where I felt like the patterns and whatnot were competing. And so I actually found a really nice new rug that I'm going to be pulling in for this room on Marketplace that I got for 50 bucks, so not bad. And then the Karistan rug, I bought it for 10 and I sold it for 150. And then we're gonna be kind of rearranging some stuff in here, try to make it function a little bit better for the new setup that we're gonna be having. So I just thought I would get some good shots here, like I said, and then we will get started on this project. So before I reveal what gender baby we're gonna have, I do wanna say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Berga. Okay, y'all, here's the deal. I went to dinner with a couple friends the other day and Berga had just reached out, asked if I wanted to work with them. I looked at my friend Courtney's phone and I was like, wait a second, Court, where did you get that phone case and she's like oh my gosh you wouldn't believe it it is this awesome company their stuff is such good quality this is the best case i've ever had it's called burga and so that was it that was all the convincing that i needed to work with this brand these guys create beautiful laptop covers iphone covers like ear airpod is that what they're called covers i don't know i don't have them anyway i just wanted to show you guys a few examples of what they sent me so you guys might have seen like Taylor Swift or Lucy Hale carrying these cases, but their cases are gorgeous and protective. Usually it's one or the other, but these are both. Anyway, I'll show you guys a little example of what their website's like, but they have over 200 like trendy and unique designs to choose from. These have a 12 month warranty. These are made in Europe and each design is made by in-house design experts that have long standing experience both in the fashion industry and in trend forecasting. What I love most is that these are made on demand. Burger doesn't like waste or overproduction so these products are produced 
only after the order is made. So right now, if you buy four Berga phone cases, you only have to pay for two. Plus, if you use my link below and use my code KristenX15, you get an extra 15% off, but this is only for the first 50 people that do this. So y'all are gonna wanna act now. <laughs> Okay, y'all, well, I guess that the time has come and I can't delay it anymore because you guys are gonna start seeing it integrated into our design decisions, but it is time to share with y'all what our baby is going to be. So actually the very first ultrasound that we had, they had to take some blood work on me because I was so late going in. But so we actually found out really early that we are having another girl. <laughs> So y'all might think that I'm like, oh no, like this sad person because I really wanted a boy or something. But if I'm being truly authentic and honest with you guys, I was so relieved to find out that we were having another girl. Honestly, we have everything for it. We ultimately hope to have our girls share their rooms. And so that just makes that so much easier. And it also makes designing this room so much easier because we're not having to make sure that it's like not too masculine or too feminine. We can go full on feminine energy over here, okay? I'm gonna be integrating a lot of like kind of pregnancy and baby stuff along the way over the next few months. So if you guys are interested in following along with that, please consider subscribing. It is absolutely free and really helps my channel. And I would love if y'all would follow along. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of context as to how I'm hoping to decorate this room. I know that we are going to have to keep our trim this really dark green color. And so when I was pulling out our spring decorations, I found this pillow that I think we actually had on our bed last year. But I have decided that this is kind of like the color scheme that I want to go with for the room. So I was thinking about painting the, the walls like a light blue color. But I actually love kind of keeping it simple and keeping it kind of like a cream color with the dark green trim. And then I went on Amazon and I found these curtains. I don't know if this is like a toile pattern or like what it, what you want to call this. But I absolutely fell in love. I'll link these below. But I know that this doesn't really have a whole lot of blue in it. But I was like, you know what? We're going to bring in some blue with that and we're going to take these as kind of like our color palette that we're going to be working with and so i will show these at the end of the video like integrated with everything but i'm really excited about these okay guys well let's not forget that i actually filmed the beginning like the before part of this video before i actually got started on like painting this bookshelf so I wanted to include a little bit of that and then I also wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be helping out with the painting in this video but the week that we did this was just beautiful and so we had all of the windows open and I don't want you guys to be like concerned for me <laughs> for any reason but I will say that we actually really enjoyed this. Josh and I, neither one of us truly loves painting, but something that we do love is working together. It gives us an opportunity, especially in this circumstance, to just like talk, you know? I felt like we actually had some really great conversations while we were both working on these things. And it's funny because I don't love asking Josh for help and he's not always the most like, fully willing, but if I do things with him, we actually both wind up really enjoying these types of activities. And so I thought I would give you guys just a little peek into our painting experience together. I did all of the edging because I'm a details person and Josh did all of the rolling because he is a let's get things done type of person. It's a hard knock life. Living in an orphanage. Wait, that's not the words. What is it? It says, no one cares for you, us. When you're in an orphanage. No, it's not. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. Right, and a little 
little peek into what is to come, I was actually getting really nervous while we were painting these things because things did not look right to me at the time. But also, again, like I said, Josh only likes to do things once and so I was like, oh no, I do not want to ask him to do this again. You wanna go see your room? See how it's looking? Ivy hasn't seen her room since we got started. What do you think? Good. You like it? Does it look better? It's not so dark in here anymore, is it? No. Okay, y'all, so we had like a little hiccup. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was freaking for a second because as you can see, the new color looks pink compared to our color of our living room. And they're actually supposed to be the same color. And it's not that I don't want a pink room, it's that I didn't choose a pink room. And I could not figure it out until I realized that we have this giant yellow stained glass window. Okay, she wanted to be on this side, I guess. <laughs> um, anyway, because I was like, man, both of these rooms just look a lot more tan but our dining room right there also has a ton of yellow light that comes into it. So I was tripping yesterday because all of the green was showing through on, this is called Dove, Dove by Bear. And as you can see on the ceiling, there we go. That's what all the walls look like yesterday. And for some reason it was so much pinker, but now that Josh got a second coat on the walls, I think it looks a lot better. So here's the thing. Now I'm second guessing this pink dresser, which doesn't even look pink anymore. I don't know, do you guys think I should paint it? I'm figuring that out. Okay, so excuse the sounds of the sleepover, but I thought I would show you guys this fan. So while we were painting in here, we took a look at this fan. First of all, the light on it. I mean, it looks okay, I guess, right now on the video. But at night, it does nearly nothing to illuminate this room. And maybe that's a bulb problem and not necessarily a fan problem. But the fan itself has some kind of wood peeling thing or whatever. Anyway, I don't know what had happened in this place, but somebody before us peeled off a ton of it. I just don't really know if there's any fixing it. And also this fan is pretty large for this room. So I just went out and bought this lamp slash fan and it was like 70 or 80 dollars i can't remember so it wasn't like cheap but it wasn't the most expensive thing and i liked how it kind of had like the schoolhouse light look to it as well so i think that we are going to install this i also ordered a medallion to go underneath it from Amazon and yes, I think that's gonna make it look real cute up in here and we're gonna take this guy out. All right, and undoubtedly the hardest part about all of this was Josh painting the ceiling. It about <laughs> ruined his arms, but it had to be done. Honestly, the ceiling being dark with the rest of the room didn't look that bad, but because, like I said, light is a problem in this room, I really wanted to just bring in as much light as possible to reflect on all of the rest of the walls. So here you will see that we were moving the bed and oh my word, it got so dusty under there. This room, again, like I said, has always just been so dark and so it's hard to clean. It's also the only room in the house that we did not refinish the floors. We kept the floors from before. This was like possibly a dog room. It was for sure a little boy's room and these floors are trash. Like no matter what we do, they're always going to look terrible. So I decided to give it a good clean under there before we moved the bed back. So I did decide to keep the bed in the same place that we had it before. I kind of thought about moving it to the opposite wall, but I wanted to be able to access the baby easily whenever she comes, just so that I can just head straight into the room and grab her if she's crying. I love you. 
and for here I had this idea we've always had the crib on the other wall but I was thinking oh the big crib should go on the big wall and the little changing table should go on the little wall but as you can see the space for it just got really cramped and so I did wind up bringing the bed back to where it was before and we brought the changing table back up from the basement and put it back where it was before. Y'all, I told you that I was not getting rid of this lamp and oh my gosh, as much as I do miss it in our living room, I think that it matches perfectly in this room, especially with those curtains that I'm gonna be bringing in. This other lamp, I'm not as much of a fan of, but I think that when we bring in the big salt lamp that we got in my recent thrift haul, I think that it looks a little bit better. And then you guys, here is this McGee and Co rug that I got for, oh my gosh, I can't remember now. I think that I got this one and the one in our side porch for $80. So I was like in my mind kind of thinking that it was like basically like 50 for the big one and 30 for the small one, I guess. But I love this rug. It has such great quality. Um, the new rug that I brought into our living room is also a McGee and Co. And I have gotten them both on Marketplace, thank God. But I will totally vouch for these. These are great rugs. And here you guys can see that I'm bringing in our new kind of like soft pink and cream quilt from Brooklinen. And I'm also bringing in this blue and white quilt that I got from the Goodwill outlet. Um, I did have this in our living room to bring in some blues and whites, but you guys, I am just feeling the blues and whites mixed with pinks and stuff in this room. I think that it's such a pretty and subtle touch in here. And then I'm bringing in this pillow that we originally went off of. And here you guys can see that I'm just kind of like testing different places for different artwork throughout here. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like honestly, even this one, I didn't know if it should go in the center of the room or if it should be centered over the changing table. I did ultimately choose over the changing table, but I'm still, even at the end of this video, I'm still not sure about that decision. <laughs> All right, and yesterday while I was gone, Josh asked Rosie if she would organize the bookshelf. Y'all, my eight-year-old did this. I did the top part, obviously, but she did all the rest by herself, which I thought was just precious. Okay, but you guys, I have to address the color because I painted this this like kind of pale pink color, and I don't think I realized how close it was going to be to the wall color. Um, and I'm not sure if that's something I want to keep because I really do like the wall color. Part of me is wondering if I should paint this like a dusty blue or maybe kind of like a sagey green color. But it also takes out the pink that we have in the room, which I wanted for Ivy. I don't know. For now, I'm just going to leave it. Because this bookshelf is off center on the wall, I was thinking about maybe putting these pictures like lining them up right here like one two three four or something to just kind of make it so that there, there's an even space right here and right there i think that's where i'm gonna go next with this all right y'all well full disclosure i only put up three of these four horse prints i am trying to not put holes in our walls because i put so many in when we first moved in and so I'm trying to use these removable things and I only had three so that's just what we're going to work with for now. Okay so I landed on a few of these paintings for the new nursery room. The only thing about it is that I do not love these frames. Oh my gosh, I thought I cleaned these and apparently I did not. This one is probably my favorite, but it has kind of like an odd green cast to the frame. The next one I almost got rid of completely because I do not like the like really orangey color of the gold. And then lastly, I have this one, which is huge. Um, and the frame on this one isn't bad. It's just a little bit uh, too mid-century for my taste. And so I have this rub and buff that I've used before that I lost somehow. Okay, I found it. I have it in antique gold. 
And I think that I'm just gonna use this and put it on all of these frames to kind of give like a cohesive look. So yeah, let's do that really quickly before we hang these up on the walls. You guys see that difference? This is so much prettier. Oh my goodness, I am not even done and I already love the color of this so much better. This rub and buff gold is so much better than this like yellow, orangish old gold that it used to be. These are turning out so nice. Alright y'all, and I'm gonna try something. I don't know if you can see it, but I know you can see it from further away that there's like a tint on this window. You see how you can see like the brightness? Anyway, like I said, this is the darkest room in the house. I think that there's actually one up here as well. And so I saw a method where you use a steamer to remove it. And so I am going to attempt to do this by myself. It may be terrible, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, something that I'm noticing is that this is actually painted on. Like as in they, when they painted the windows, they painted the film onto it as well. <sighs> Y'all, I've really badly burned myself on a steamer before and so I'm so paranoid to do this. Not perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I made a mistake. Today is 60 degrees outside and I decided to use the steamer. And I guess that the differences in the temperatures are enough for the glass to crack. <laughs> so I am just going to not, I'm not gonna mess with it until the weather gets warmer and we will finish this job then. But until then, it's just gonna look terrible. But at least it's light. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm discovering that I'm extra crazy because I found out that as I was trying to scrape the excess glue off of this one, that there's actually a tint on both of these that was underneath the other tint. And I just don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I have it in me to try to do both, ever. <laughs> y'all well we finally got our curtains in yesterday i recorded some of it but i'm not gonna lie we just about lost our marriage over these things actually these were not the culprit the fan was the culprit as you can see the medallion is gone it was the bane of our existence and so we are going to ultimately need to try to paint in there to cover up the green that's still left but this fan slash light is so much better. And then I've got these over here. And you guys, I am just so in love with these. Aren't they so pretty? 
All right, y'all, well, let's get started on a before and after reveal. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm filming this before I'm actually done <laughs> with this room. But listen, y'all, I don't want to get ready again, okay? This is, this takes effort and I don't have a whole lot of energy these days. <laughs> but I hope that you guys really enjoy this video. Thank you again for always being part of these things with me. And I would love to hear your opinions on this room below. So please leave me a comment. Please subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.